Hi everyone! So it's night time. Um, ito yung perfect time. Well, for me, this is the perfect time for me to water my plants because as you know, hindi ako pwede lumabas ng umaga. So this is for me the best time to water. And at the same time, it's quiet na, it's peaceful and uh, relaxing. No? So this is for me uh, my favorite time to water. So today's topic will be very simple well not really as simple as it looks but you know we have been watering our plants for the longest time but when it comes to succulents parang napakahirap niyang um ispilengi na no it's it seems like uh, when it comes to succulents watering succulents is the hardest part of uh caring for for them so today i will explain to you my um my ways of how I water my plants and why I came up with the 10 ml method. Yes, ako po ang nag invento ng 10 ml method. So, sa mga na may violent reactions dyan, please let me explain first how I came about the, the system and why it works for me. Ayan. So, no violent reactions first. Please do watch the entire video so that you will have an understanding on why I came with I came up with a 10 ml method before you judge it and um, yeah let's start okay so I started with a 10 ml method with a syringe no so you can see pero niyang 10 20 ml 30 40 ml ano so why did I um, come with a system wherein I am just putting 10 ml of water in my newly potted plants. Okay, let me explain to you briefly what, uh, where it started. Okay, um, for the longest time, I have been bashed. I have been, um, you know, criticized for for uh, putting out a system wherein white animal, it's not enough. Ma 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 uh, your plants will be super thirsty. They will be payat or thin. Uh, they won't thrive. So I had so many complaints about the system. But the thing is, you know, it's so easy for us to judge without really actually finding out the reason why it was like that. So let me explain to you why I came about with a 10 ml method. When I started out with my succulent, um, with my succulent uh, adventure, you know, my succulent journey, I was one of those people who thought, you know, after potting, you can just water your plants right away. And lo and behold, Ayun, lusaw sila. They all got overwatered. They all started getting mushy and they died on me. So when I was starting out, I was, you know, trying to look for answers and I was, you know, looking at different um, places like Google, um, different Facebook uh, groups, and unfortunately, um, at that time when I started when I started out, there wasn't much about succulent care in the Philippines. So um, I made it a I made it a point in my in my well with me no um to start trying out i love to experiment so i started experimenting on my plants so you know i went to Cubao, i bought a lot of plants and i started doing several experiments with my plants and i had uh, i met a, a lot of friends along the way and then they became my first um experiment buddies no so during that time, we were, you know, exchanging ideas. We were exchanging um, particular methods, you know, no particular methods. And we were just really basing it on um, from experience. And then I realized at, uh, at the onset when I was, you know, in the process of experimenting that most of my succulents died, were all overwatered. But when they were underwatered, meaning I wasn't giving them enough water, even though they were thin and ugly and, you know, they were very um, soft, you know, they weren't as beautiful as they were supposed to, they were still alive. So I thought, okay, okay, so I had something there. I, I thought to myself that I had an idea and I wanted to, um, I wanted to, you know, um, how do I say this? I wanted to explore. I wanted to expo explore more on the underwatering um, aspect of succulents and then I realized that um, you know during these times where you are when you when your plants when your succulents are newly potted that's the time that they are at their weakest so I thought why not you know withhold the water until they're able to really take on the water with their roots 
um, so that's what I did. You know, I started, of course, you know, when you buy plants. During that time, um, there wasn't really much, you know, that much uh, big succulents that time. Um, succulents sold in the market were really more on token sizes, really small sizes. That's where I came up with the Tanemel method. So let me just explain to you um, the gist of it, okay? So when you have a plant this small, when you have a plant this small, they don't, they cannot take on that much water, right? So I thought, um, how can I come up with a, you know, in experiments, you have to have variables and um, constants, you know? So how can you prove an experiment to be successful if you don't have an actual measurement? So that's the reason why I have an exact measurement, which is 10 ml. But basically, the concept of the 10 ml method is just to water the surrounding um, soil enough that they are um, uh, they're, they're, they will have moisture but not too much water that they will get soaked and you know the, since there are not much active roots that time that they will drown and eventually die so i started with 20 ml and some of the plants that especially this small no they still died on me so i started lessening and lessening the water until i came up with a te with 10 ml which was a perfect um volume for them to be okay during the the early stages of repotting but not too much that they will you know drown and die so with a pot this small this is a two by two pot um if i water this if i did full watering after one week of repotting this this pot this plant most probably will die but if i had a small amount of water just enough for the roots to start looking for the water then they will start growing more roots they will start um looking for that moisture so that was the main point of the the 10 ml uh volume so i started doing that and i started putting um water just around the brim of the pot and it became successful for me um right after using that method um i i never had any more succulent deaths with when it comes to newly potted plants and then that's when i started tscp or the succulent club philippines so during that time when i was sharing my experience with other people a lot of a lot of new members would uh, message me or um you know hit me a dm and they will ask so miss dots how do you do it how do you do it and then it became harder for me to explain the concept between um, not just you have to just uh, put a little moisture on the soil so that it will uh, look for uh, the roots will start looking for moisture and stuff like that so the 10 ml method became easier for me to teach just like a you know just like baking a cake it's hard for you to explain how to bake a cake without the right measurements that's the reason why we have Two cups of flour and one cup of vanilla or uh, of, of uh, brown sugar you know what i'm saying because if you just tell them okay put flour you put eggs you put um you put brown sugar then you know definitely the 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 cake will fail just because there is a proper measurement to everything and, the, and it's hard for for beginners to follow so the reason why i came up with the method was to help beginners like me not experienced ones, but beginners like me, you know, to, to, have, to have that sense of control. And control was the first in initial thing that was important for me. And, you know, um, when I was starting out with, with my friends, with, with um, the pioneer members of TSCP, that's what we were discuss. You know, it's so much easier to discuss. Miss Dots, um, that, that, the 10 ml doesn't seem to be enough for, for this plant. Or this plant or this plant or maybe you know let's say you have an echeveria and 10 ml would be enough and then you know come a new hybrid of plant of new succulent um let's say succulent city came up with 2019 brought in um the the corpuscularia limani or the ice plant the variegated ice plant and then we realize that 10 ml doesn't seem to be enough for the plant because apparently the limani plant um, wants more water, wants to be drenched, wants to be, you know, soaked in water and have a different soil composition, a s different soil um, ratio. So that's when we started learning, okay, that the 10 ml method doesn't necessarily apply 
uh, to everything, to all the plants. It's not a complete science. You know, it's not like, okay, if you don't follow this one, your plant will surely die. It's not like that. It's really more of a guide. It's really more of a guide on what you can, you know, to avoid, to avoid, you know, killing your plant with, with overwatering, especially when you're a beginner and you don't have the understanding on how to water your succulent. So basically, that is the entire gist of why I came up with the 10ml method. So let me show you guys what I mean with the 10ml method. So let me explain to you guys how I do the 10ml method. So let's say this one is a newly potted plant and this one has been potted for just over a week and it's, it's time for me to start watering it. So what I do is this one is a 2x2 two by two, uh, two by two pot and I use 10ml. Um, 10 ml just to you know water the entire uh, pot so actually if you compare it to the pot and to the syringe this one looks like it's just the right amount of water for this pot right it won't drench it too much but it will moist uh, give moisture to the uh, substrate or the soil so what i do is i just put a little bit of water i put 10 ml and on the brim of the pot okay just enough to moisten the soil there we go so as you can see no water will drip on the bottom and that is just enough water for the soil to be um, a little bit moist but not drenched okay so if the plant has just a small amount of roots it will be enough for the root to take on and drink it won't um, it won't overwhelm the plant uh, with water so this one is a 4x4 four four pot, so this one will get 20 ml of water. Now as you can see, if this one is a newly potted plant and it's getting 20 ml of water, this one looks like enough water for the roots to start looking for, for moisture. So again, I just squeeze it around the pot. Okay, I make sure that it doesn't get the stem wet or um, the leaves wet just to avoid stem rot during this time. Because again, let me explain that plants during this stage are really sensitive to moisture, to water, and they're very weak at the uh, at this stage. So we give them 20 ml. Okay, there. And that's just, again, no water will drip on the bottom. And at the same time, it's just enough water for the uh, plant to start looking for the, that moisture. Now, let's say I have this <laughs> pot. Okay, do you think 10 ml will be enough? Of course not. I mean, you know, we have to be, we have to have some common sense when we're, we're you know, we're do, trying out something. So, you know, for those asking, oh, what about if it's a big pot, 10 ml is not enough? Of course, my gosh, you see, we have to use our common sense, right? Of course, this will not be enough. Then we have to use more. So we, our judgment, our common sense should kick in during this time. Okay, so now after watering your small pot with 10 ml of water every 4 to 5 days for 2 weeks, then you can now finally upgrade or add a little bit more water to your pot um, and you can now double the, the volume of water it, it's getting. By the time, uh, by 2 weeks, you have enough roots for the plant to really take on water and so that it will create more leaves. You can give it a little bit more sunshine, um, give it a little bit more exposure during this time. So now you can use 20 ml with the small pot like this. There we go. It's still enough water, but it's it won't drench through. I mean, there. It won't soak through the pot. So it's just enough water for the plant to really take on water and to really drink up so that it will start getting plump and it will start creating more leaves. Again, the really... the, the main purpose of having 10 ml is just really to entice the roots not really to fatten up the plant this one will assure us that it the plant will not die of o due to overwatering. now after another two weeks of giving it 20 ml then we can start so that is basically a month after so now we can start watering the plant a little bit more you can use 30 ml or 40 ml depending on the pot 
So this one is a relatively small pot and this one would usually get around 30 ml. So this one is 20. This one is another 20. And this one is another 20. As you can see, water is already dripping um, on the drainage hole. So just what I've been explaining, if you are putting enough water on the pot on after a month, 30 or 60 ml would be so much water already. It sounds like it's a little bit of water, but that water really depends on how big your pot is. So 60 ml is actually more than enough for this plant to have to soak the entire substrate. And this one is now considered as fully watered. So basically, after a month of doing controlled watering, your plant can now graduate from the syringe and actually take on um, you know, a full shower or use the hose or use a watering can or whatever it is that you use to fully water your plants. For example, this pot has been with me for a couple of months already and this one can take on full watering, you know, um, and, uh, and a full shower. So now what? how I water this plant is really just, I just shower it there, I drench it. Same with this one, so I just water it and then wait for the water to soak through the pot. So this one needs more. There, this one. And I don't mind, you know, you can always water your plants uh, this way as long as they are established. But if they're newly potted, it, it won't be wise for you to water it this way. So, you know, again, um, at the end of the day, um, methods are there to guide. They're not there to, um, well, my method is not there to um, make your plants ugly or bring harm to your plant. Because again, you know, with succulent care, it's better to be underwatered than to be overwatered. Um, so, you know, again, your plants can survive months without water, but if you overwater them once or twice or thrice over a span of what one month, they will die on you. And you know, again, succulents are not well, although they are a little cheaper nowadays, but you know, still it's money that you spend o over plants. So, you know, that is my main concern. I don't want when I when I advise something, I want to be more on the safe side than to be on the risky side. So that is the reason why we want to be a little bit more conservative when it comes to advising watering techniques to other people. Next question I have, uh, I received, no, next question I received was, how do I now water my plant box, especially now that it's newly potted? So this one has been potted for more than a week. Um, I think a week, and a, a week and one day. So what I do is, of course, you know, since I am a little bit more educated and I have been, I, I am a little bit more experienced, you know, I can basically gauge and try to guess how much water my plant would need again you know the 10 ml method is create was created for you to graduate from it's not something that you, you should live by until you're like an experienced grower or an experienced uh, collector it's something that is just really useful for beginners so if you're no longer a beginner then it's okay to deviate from that it, it's okay to to make your own watering schedule watering technique um you know it's all up to you you know it's it, you don't have to follow uh, the 10 ml method anymore it doesn't mean that you hate me or you don't like what i do it's just that you know you can you know it's something that you should graduate from so for this one i just water i just give it enough water wherein the plant would just get a little um moisture from the side you know side soil i mean the soil beside the plant but not directly on the plant there so here oh, it's hard to see there you go here there Okay, here, here. Here on the aloe. Here. 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 This aloe here. Yeah. 
There we go. Here, I'll just water around the the plant. There you go. Same here. Same here. Especially for those who doesn't have roots, um, you have to be a little bit more careful. But then again, for this batch, uh, for these guys, this batch, um, I planted them um, with some roots. So this one can take a little bit more. There we go. Especially this aloe. I planted it with its full, with full um, roots. And this one here, and then this one. This one here. There we go. And then here. Avoiding um, the plant from getting wet. You can see this one even has roots already. Uh, let me show you. There, you can see those roots, right? So now I just water that side. There we go. And that aloe right there. There. So there, I'm finally done watering my plant box. And I will observe it and check on it every day for the next couple of days until you know I, I you know I can be sure that they have soaked in. I will start checking the plant itself. If it's this one is a bit soft, you can see it's very pliable. There we go. Because typically Monroe's when they're fully soaked, they're so plump and they won't do this. They won't be pliable. There we go. So I will observe if the plant actually takes on water. So if it starts drinking, then I know I have active roots and I can breathe a big sigh of relief. And hopefully by after five to seven days, I can water them again. So like this one, this one is my banana plant. This one will get a full soak. This one has been with me for more than uh, two to three months already. And it's very, very dehydrated. You can see the wrinkles on the leaves there. And it's very pliable. So this one can take on a lot of water. There you go. This has been with me and getting full water every seven days or one week. There you go. So I just wait for the water to start dripping from the bottom and then I know it's okay already. So now what the next question is, what do I do with the water that spills from the from the pot all the way here? By tomorrow it's dry because it's very, very windy in my area and they're located in an open space. So drying the dry uh, I mean the water on the silicone sheet will more or less dry up by the end of I mean the end of the night or when the daylight comes. So that's uh, that's not really a problem for my current setup. This one seems to be very dehydrated also, so I will water this again. I'll do full watering on this one. This is just a basic shower. There you go. This one has been with me for more than um, six, seven months already. So this one can take on a lot of water. This one is... Um, this one is a very thirsty girl. So I guess that's it for today and well, for, that's it for tonight. And I hope I was able to explain my 10ml method better and um, more clearly. Um, I hope you can give it a try if you're a beginner or if you're new to succulents, I hope you can give it a try. But again, for 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 those who are already, um, for those who are already experienced or who has you know been who's been caring for succulents for a long time, then no more no need na. I'm, I'm sure you can you know how to water your plants already. And again, you know this method is only really for beginners. And um, yeah, give it a try and I hope, you know, people will be more understanding. Uh, again, at the end of the day, a wise person once said, given the choice to be right or to be kind, choose to be kind. Because you'll never go wrong with kind, you know. And I, I it, it stayed with me for, for, you know, it stayed with me. In this day and age wherein people can be so rude, could be so... Um, you know, um, people would really exert that they're correct, that they're right. And we forget that, you know, 
um, you don't have to be right all the time. And even if you're right, you don't have to rub it into people's faces. And, you know, if you just live with more empathy rather than, you know, proving that you are smarter, you are more experienced, you know, that's just ego. You know, it's, it's my method, my, ten, my tenemel method, that's the reason why sometimes I get hurt with, with bashers or people who would criticize the method is that they have let you know they don't have enough understanding of what it was you know they did not research about it they did not um, try to learn about it and um, you know it's something that really struck me when I started getting a lot of negative um, negative uh, feedback regarding the method and again you know if only they knew the purpose or the reason behind that method you know it was just basically to help um, beginners like me when I was starting out you know and I just you know um, it's something very dear to me um, you know that that I have never done or said anything to to hurt other people and it's just really sad that there are that there are you know people in my community in the succulent community that would um, you know that would make fun of it or laugh at it or you know used to be people who used to like me and be friends with me are now saying stuff bad stuff about my my methods or the way i advise other people with succulent care and it's just really you know it saddens me when it when it happens but again at the end of the day you can't please everyone right so i just have to again live up to my motto which is Given the choice to be right or to be kind, I will just choose to be kind. So I'll see you guys on the next video and um, yeah, <laughs> choose to be kind. Bye. I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in those blue eyes. I'm losing sight cause I am falling, I'm so deep.